Hi, it's me again with Correct Tips and Tricks, and I got this idea from my mentor's video that he did kind of the same thing, but he he hadn't uh, he doesn't talk, and this is going to make it a little life a little bit easier easier. And I kind of learned something I never thought about when I was watching it. If you want to align these two nodes, and if I've always used the align nodes, and you have to click on that, and you have to go to horizontal. And it all depends on really which one you selected first. If we select that one first and go shift and then align them horizontally, it's gonna bring the first one up. Let's back up and let's select this one first, hold down the shift and select this one and go to align and, and shift it. It's gonna use the first one that you picked. So you can do that with just using the control letters that are in under object, align and distribute. And right here you've got a line left, a line right, a line top, and a line bottom. And then it doesn't really matter which one you select first. So if we want this node to be the top of our square, and this is also, it's a rectangle, but it is also converted to a curve. So I'm using the shape tool. Just select them all and hit T for top. That's gonna put it to the top of that one. Say we wanna bring this one down, so I'm gonna hit B for bottom. We're gonna select these two and I want that node to be equal with this node. So I'm gonna hit L and it's gonna bring it left. Now in here, I want that node to be equal with this. Well, let's say I'm gonna want this node to be equal with that node, I'm gonna hit R for right. That's gonna be a lot of time saving because you, you've, if you use these enough, which I use them a lot, uh, you know, I do things like this all the time. I'll make duplicates, and if I want these things all even on the bottom, I hit B. If I want them all even on the top, I hit T. So they're kind of elementary use, but I've never really thought about using them with nodes. So let's just do this one more time. Let's bring this node in. Let's delete that node. And let's say we want the box to be right here. Well, we're gonna go B for bottom. Now we want this, then we want this node to move over. So I'm gonna go L for left because it's gonna move the, the furthest, it's gonna leave the left node and leave the one that's furthest to the right. Um, and that happened because I had everything selected. So if I want that, if I want this node to move over, I'm gonna go right so it moves it to the right. But if I wanted this node to be over here, I'm going to select them on go and I'm going to hit left. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.